அனைவருக்கும் வணக்கம் திஸ் இஸ் நற்பவி நற்பவ அகாடமி இனிய தமிழ் கிளாஸஸ் நற்பவி நேரம் இனிய தமிழ் வகுப்பிற்கு உங்கள் அனைவரையும் அன்புடன் வரவேற்கின்றேன் ஆஸ் யூ மே ஹாவ் நோட்டிஸ்ட் வி ஹாவ் அ ஃபயர் லில்லி ஆஸ் அவர் நியூ லோகோ ஆஃப் நற்பவி நேரம் ஃபயர் லில்லிஸ் ஆர் ஆல்சோ நோன் ஆஸ் க்ளோரியோசா லில்லிஸ் தேர் ஆர் மெனி வெரைட்டிஸ் இன் திஸ் ஃபேமிலி ஆஃப் தீஸ் க்ளோரியோசா சூப்பர்வா இஸ் அவர் லோகோ The reason behind the selection is simple. Gloriosa Superba is the state flower of Tamil Nadu. In Tamil, we call this Seng Kandal Malar. Malar stands for flower and Seng Kandal stands for red fire. This also is the national flower of Zimbabwe. Okay, let us begin with our classes. Today we will be seeing two different vowels, not a same song with two different levels, but two different vowels which sound so different and three consonants as usual along with six combined letters uh, today's vowels are i and au let us start writing so our first vowel is y sounded and our second vowel is au sounded i am writing this like tamil ya yeah, but this is o w uh, as in now how sounds as in now and i sounds as in my i and au this is how we write i we start with the spiral and in a second one blend supporting letter something like that come down and that's it this is i consider writing two tamil letters ra and ya yeah, together so right ra and ya yeah. this ra comes with a dot a spiral i mean around so again i'm writing this again this is i okay moving on to our au we need to write o tamil o and la so au is a two lettered word a uh, sorry two letters au has two letters o and la when o and la comes together it sounds au do you remember this la from u and this is l too you will sound sorry l3 l3 this is l3 okay so i'm writing this au again you write o and la together this is au so let me clear this and we shall move on to our consonants as i said earlier these consonants are nasal sounded that is the sound comes from our comes from our nose and not from our throat so today we have yan sounded yam sounded and again another yan sounded i have said earlier that we have three yans in tamil uh, we have already seen yan 1 so this is yan 2 and this is yan 3 and this is how we wrote our yan 1 i am writing yan in in again for your reference so our consonants sounds in for second yan and ah i'm writing in tamil yum and again in third yan <coughs> this all these three yans uh differ in the pressure which we give so yan 1 is uh the strongest yan of all we press our tongue against our mandible harder in and yan 2 is the mildest of all we need to press our tongue against our teeth in in and yan 3 comes in between so we just need to press our tongue against our mandible but not so far behind but behind the teeth okay these are the three difference in the stresses which we give to our yans in tamil coming to the writing this is how we write yan to in into so you write a supporting letter and 
single stroke like this. That's it. This is yen. Sorry, yin. I'm writing this again. Yin. 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 Okay. We're coming to yam. Yam sound. This is how we write. Yim. You write an English letter L and close this letter like this. That's it. Do you remember writing yir? But this, um, when we write this without the part below, that is im. I'm writing im again. Im. Okay, moving on to N3. Uh, N3 is similar to that of N1. In N1, we had three bubbles, but here only we have two bubbles. So this is in. That's it. N3. I'm writing this again. In. That's all. So let us start combining. Here comes our I. Poison. And our ow again this in into im and in in three so combining in plus i we get nai n2 so combining in plus ow we get now Enter. Im plus i gives my and im plus au gives mau. Again, in plus i gives nai entry and in plus au gives now entry. Okay, so this is how we write nai. We write a consonant without the dot. Here we need to add an extra letter to denote the sound i. In this case, I sound, we add a letter before. So, this is the letter which we add before. A blunt entry. Blunt type of entry. So, that's it. This is nai. And for my, we write this blunt entry and the consonant of the letter, my. And for entry, nai. We write this blunt entry and again our usual entry, a sharp one entry. This is nai. Coming to our ow, ow sounds, um, we write this consonant without the letter. For ow sound, we need to add two letters before and after our uh, consonants without the dot. So obviously we have this uh, la after our letter but before we need to add this one a blunt a sound do you remember blunt a which comes in short noted o and short noted a so when we add this uh, blunt a before and la after a letter the three letters sounds ow whatever be the letter which comes in between but the three letters sounds ow. So, okay, this is how we write mau. We blend a, our consonants without the dot, and the la, la. Okay, and again for n3, the blend a, our n3, third n without the dot, na, and la. So, this is now uh, i'll tell you one more thing without this letter la this sounds a so this is ne without la and me without la and ne without la so when la is there ne sounds now instead of la if we had this supporting letter this sounds no and here instead of la when we have the supporting letter this sounds mo and this one sounds no okay so this is an extra tidbit and one more tidbit 
I forgot to say um, this my is a single sounded word my stands for ink so in Tamil we call my uh, any kind of ink it may be but we call we call them my okay so that's all for today's class today uh, we have seen these consonants I think I forgot to read them I'll read this one more time so this is I ow and for our consonant in the sounds are nai and now and for our consonant im the sounds are my and mau and again for in the sounds are nai and now forget all these supporting letters but uh, you have the la now mau and now okay okay that's all in our class today with our class today we have finished all our um 12 vowels and 18 consonants so there will be no more new words in our forthcoming sessions with only with six series you have learned everything you need to know in Tamil and now we have only combining parts to complete all the 247 letters and you know how to combine vowels and consonants so that's it Tamil is very very easy people if you put your mind and heart you can crack any language within a few weeks now you know basics in Tamil and for more videos subscribe to my channel also don't forget to click like to my videos until then bye from Narpavi Nandri Medium Sandipo